Hello again folks and welcome to another screencast and this particular screencast is looking at the ATP PC system as part of energy systems in anatomy. Now before you begin this screencast it's very important to recap the ATP resynthesis cycle so the best way to do this is probably make sure you watch the ATP resynthesis cycle screencast before you start this one. For those that have watched that screencast, just to recap the ATP resynthesis cycle on screen, remember when the body has stores of ADP, so two phosphates, adenosine diphosphate, we need to resynthesize the phosphate in order to create the ATP compound so we've got stored energy. So if you remember, we're gaining a phosphate in an endothermic reaction to create adenosine triphosphate, so ATP, and then when we need to release energy to the muscle groups, we lose that phosphate in an exothermic reaction, and this then becomes adenosine diphosphate again. Now the question people may have from the last screen shot was where are we gaining these phosphates from? So when ADP becomes ATP, where do we get that phosphate from? And the answer to that question is what we call the energy systems. And this is the focus of these next three series of screencasts, including this one. So if we want to provide energy in the form of the ATP compound for the resynthesis cycle to work, we need to utilise or use three different energy systems. The first of which we're going to look at today, which is the ATP PC system. The next screencast will focus on the lactic acid system or the glycolytic system. And the final screencast will look at the three different stages of the aerobic system. And it's these different systems that provide that phosphate for the resynthesis cycle to operate. And depending on what you do with your muscle groups or the, the type of activity you are doing, the body will change the system that it uses to gain that phosphate. Okay, so let's look at the ATP PC system, which is also known in some exam quarters as the alactic system. So if you ever see that anywhere, it means the ATP PC system. As I mentioned, this system provides energy for the resynthesis process. A common error in exams is that people write the ATP PC system, ATP PC system excuse me, provides energy for the body. No, it doesn't. It provides a phosphate to provide energy for the resynthesis cycle. So that's really important to underline that. The PC in the title are what we call phosphocreatine bonds and they are a, a fuel system for the ATP PC system. The ATP PC system works anaerobically. We don't need any oxygen for this system to provide a phosphate for the resynthesis cycle. It also takes place, this energy system, in what we call the sarcoplasm and the muscle cells. Now if you imagine a muscle fiber, Imagine it's covered in cling film, that's the sarcoplasm. So the ATP PC system works in that area. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna draw this system out on screen. And there's two things I want you to do for your notes. Number one is draw the system out because it will help you, give you a visual diagram as to what's going on. The second thing I would suggest you do is after drawing it is write what's happening in a written paragraph. So listen to the phrases that I'm using and try and write it as a written paragraph. Because in your exam, you won't be asked to draw this system out, you'll be asked to explain the system. And the easiest way to do that is to write a complete paragraph about the energy system. So here we go. So when we've got high levels of adenosine diphosphate, so there's no energy left for the resynthesis cycle, and we want to jump, or we want to throw a tennis ball or a javelin, or we want to sprint. So some form of explosive activity. 
This will stimulate an enzyme called creatine kinase. And that enzyme will break our fuel called PC, phosphocreatine. It will break that fuel and it will create one phosphate molecule that will be put back into the ATP resynthesis cycle to create adenosine triphosphate. All right. So remember, this system is only creating phosphates to go back into the resynthesis cycle so we can create ATP. So again, go back over that, draw this out, recap my words that I've used there, and create a paragraph to describe that system. The key points of this system are as follows. This system, the ATPPC system, only creates one phosphate for ATP resynthesis. Therefore, it can only help support the creation of one ATP compound. The problem with this system, and a major drawback of the ATPPC system, is that the phosphocreatine fuel stores are really limited in the body and therefore it can only last for around about 8 to 10 seconds of work. So this is the reason why sprinting may only require this energy system for around about 8 to 10 seconds, and then the body will need another energy system for us to continue to sprint. We can only last around about 8 to 10 seconds with this energy system. It's used for, as I mentioned there, explosive and high intensity exercise or short duration exercise. So sprinting, jumping, throwing, these types of exercises, the body will immediately use the ATP PC system to gain the phosphate to add into the resynthesis cycle. The advantage, the massive advantage of this energy system compared to the other two, when you start doing the other two energy systems, there is no fatiguing byproducts. Once the PC reserves have gone, they need to be replenished. And the way we do that usually is have a three minute rest to allow enough oxygen in to replenish the PC stores. Another advantage of this system that is not on screen is that PC, phosphocreatine, is already present in our muscle groups when we're at rest. So we can stand up and sprint, we can throw very quickly, we can jump very quickly because there's this PC fuel in the body to do that. However, when you look at the lactic acid system and the aerobic system, they require an extra form of energy in the form of food. So we need to bring in food to use those systems. But the ATP PC system doesn't need that, the PC fuel is already in the muscle groups. Okay, once again, go over the screencast, make sure you understand this energy system, and if you need any more help or support with anything to do with A-level PE, please head to the I Speak PE channel on YouTube.